This is a HeadGum Podcast. They made a book about a video game. 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 We made a podcast about that. Welcome to 8-Bit Book Club, the only book club that makes you dumber. Brian Murphy, Emily Axford, and Caldwell Tanner. And we've got certified Mario lore lord. You know a yes. lot about yes. Mario. Yeah. Mario lover, Adam yeah. Conover. It's a me, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Mario genius, I believe is what it says on your resume. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have, I'm wearing, I have Mario on my shirt. I'm yeah. Wearing, he is. Yeah. You yeah, gotta, do you want to walk the audience through your outfit just so they know how committed you are? Sure, there's only two pieces. Okay, um, okay. <laughs> Really stretch it out, really stretch it I out. I should get some Mario tattoos, actually. I have no tattoos. Do they make the Mario one. jeans? I want to wear some Mario jeans. I've been, I've been hunting for them. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. shirt, for those who can't see it, this is a Uniqlo X Mario collab. Hell yeah. Um, it's got a little Mario <laughs> emblem where you would see the little Izod crocodile, but it's a little uh, pixelated Mario, and then the entire shirt is covered with uh, pixelated Mario things. These look like the official pixel grids. And let me tell you something, I missed it when it first came out, and then I went to a Crossroads trading company in LA, and I saw it, and I was like, <gasps> I must cop, yeah. because Whoa. I remember this limited edition collab, and you know people don't know what they have here. Like, <laughs> uh, this is, and, and I wear it every day. <laughs> Say that to the person as you checked out. You guys don't know what you're selling here. I'm gonna go flip this shit. All right. We went to Super Mario World at Universal Studios like pretty quickly after it came out, and uh, Adam was legitimately kind of starstruck by Mario. Yes. <laughs> when I'm confronted with a character actor in a big suit, like it makes me legitimately nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it does feel like you're meeting an actual celebrity. Yeah. But... <laughs> oh, okay. do I pose with them? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Which eye do I look at? Your face is so big. <laughs> Look uh, at the mouth. That's what I turned into a five year old. Lisa, my girlfriend, was like, Do you want to get your picture with Mario? And I was like, if That's okay. Could we wait in line? Yeah, okay, I'll get it. Sure. I went to Disneyland with Suze a few weeks back, and she was like making fun of me nonstop because we went to the Star Wars area, and I just whispered to her, That's the Mandalorian. <laughs> and I like, I didn't even mean to. It just escaped my mouth, being like, Holy shit, it's him. <laughs> <laughs> just Mando at the bar trying to eat by himself. <laughs> I'm with my family, dude. <laughs> big, big fan of your work, sir. <laughs> May I shake Grogu's hand? Yeah. So we've got a bunch of Mario game books here from the early 90s. We're going to let Adam choose live on air. Not that suspenseful for you at home because you're looking at the title of the episode. And yeah. you see what he chose. Unless we want to just put like question marks there. You want to describe what you're looking at? I'm looking at uh, four Nintendo adventure books. Three of them are Pringle Special Edition. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these are not used. I had to buy two cans of Pringles for each of these books. Okay. Uh, they did not want to give me these books. They said that is a very old deal. <laughs> <laughs> the books these, aren't good. They've what, gone bad. What's crazy about these is I three of these I remember checking out of the public library. Whoa. Really? Yeah, which is... I don't know why I needed a library card because if you just have Pringles, you, yeah. can, you can get the books. <laughs> the Pringles man is a Mario relative. Okay, you're officially a gamer now, Adam. So I, I even told Caldwell when we were looking at these initially that I remembered one from my childhood named Just Desserts, and you said that one's too rare. Extremely rare. Can cannot find. It. Wow. Cannot really? It. These are like 50 bucks each minimum on eBay. These uh-huh. yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I meant to mention that, guys. We are in the red now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, I spent all of our company money on Mario. Mario books. <laughs> So we got one uh, that says, uh, by the way, these all have the Nintendo seal of quality on them. Um, <laughs> Which as we know in the 90s meant everything. So many good regular Nintendo games. We've got Double Trouble where uh, we've got two Luigis and two, uh, what do you think, that's Lemmy Koopa or Iggy Koopa? Oh gosh. It, th- that's I, let, me, let, let me see. These yeah. are the ones that are hard to tell. Let me see. Oh, that's Lemmy Koopa. Yeah. No, wait. Oh, wow, it is hard to tell. That might be Iggy Koopa. Uh, we've got Brain Drain, where Mario and Luigi are looking at Yoshi, who's a, who seems to be locked up in prison <laughs> yeah. on the cover. Oh. Yoshi looks mean in that one. Yeah, what did Yoshi's he do a hard criminal. There? Yoshi has a troubling power, which he can put anything in his mouth and turn it into an egg. So like, mm. if he turned evil, it's very Whoa. concerning. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We got Dinosaur Dilemma, which is a very generic sort of cover. Yeah. yeah. Okay, not speaking um, to That you. one just looks like the cover of Super Mario. And then the one that I'm most curious about, I feel okay. like, is called, yeah. called Pike. Down. down. You know that <laughs> k- phrase kids love to hear their dad <laughs> shout. <laughs> Here's the Mario version of it. But what intrigues me about this is on the cover, we've got 
Princess Peach uh, slam dunking a basketball. <laughs> Right. Which I've never seen her do in a single yeah, Mario. And Mario game. and Luigi look concerned about it. <laughs> they're, they're like, they're like, ooh. Yeah. Oh, they want her ooh. to pipe down. And also some of the pipes are pipe organ pipes, which is kind of surprising. Oh, oh wow, look at I that. This is all gonna pipes. fold together. Mm -hmm. All right. So I, I select pipe down. I also don't I did not check this one out of the library when I was a kid. The others I think I did, so oh. this one's gonna be new to me. So this is wow. fresh. Um, All right. Oh my God, the way you just folded the cover over backwards <laughs> gave me a heart attack Mar because Mario again, it could, it could rip off. <laughs> well, part of the reason that I'm the reader is because I have so little respect for the source material that I can read it very fast, which I know it's not good for the integrity of the book. All right, Princess in Peril. The Mario Bros dash up, leaning against a rock, tired, confused, bedraggled, is Princess Toadstool. The sinister music has stopped playing, for now. I've tried and tried, but these magic sneakers won't come off, wails oh. the princess. This okay. is the cold yeah. open. Uh -huh. <laughs> Suddenly, the music begins to play once more. Before she can say another word, she, uh, the spell seizes her again. She grabs the, her basketball and begins to dribble away. <laughs> Stop her, cries Mario. He and Luigi race after Princess Toadstool. Finally, Luigi is within arm's reach of her highness. Just as he reaches out to grab her, though, she drops straight down into a large opening in the desert sand. <laughs> Luigi is moving too fast to stop, so he jumps right over the hole into an even larger one. Ah! He wails as he plummets into the darkness. <laughs> What will happen to Mario, Luigi, and Princess Toadstool now? Wow. It's up to you to make the decisions that will get them past the pitfalls of this adventure. This is dark. She's this is compelled to play basketball by an evil song. It's like the fairies, like who in lore they'll say, like, "Oh, fairies, what came and people had to dance. Or She's been forced to ball. <laughs> <laughs> She's been possessed by a hoop dream." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I, for Forced to fall. <laughs> I forgot one of the things about these books is that they always write a letter up top from well, we the got, Mario Bros. We got a little. Oh, we yeah. have to. Yeah, but it says good luck, driplessly yours, because of course they're plumbers, so they're <laughs> driplessly yours because they solve all your drips. Yeah. yeah. See, a lot of the early <laughs> Nintendo writers really fixated on the plumber thing. Oh, yeah, they're all about <laughs> it. Much more than Nint Nintendo was just like, he's a plumber, I don't know. And then everyone else who created the extended Mario universe was just like, <laughs> they like Drano. I don't know. They I want you to focus. Cracks. Yeah. Uh, okay. So there's a, a whole letter that explains to us how adventure books work. Uh, we think we know, um, but we do get an item. The Mario Bros now have the waiting boots. Turn to page 79. Oh. oh, wait, wait. You'll see a box like the one below. This is what I get for skimming. All right. All right. We don't should, we, should we pause and grab a notebook or something like that? No, we can remember. <laughs> We're adults reading a children's book. How hard could it be? Okay. Yeah, Guys, my hand is stuck in the Pringles too. All right. It's a shoe polisher, Princess Toadstool shouts gleefully. Of the 67 <laughs> presents she's received so far, this is the first one that isn't a pair of shoes. Finally. Whoa. Whoa. Th like the classic Doug episode. <laughs> what? This is, wait, an Emily wait, Ever Ever 90s know, poll? Did you just do a 90s poll that we don't know the reference to that you do? You guys don't remember in the TV show Doug when the, his love interest, Patty Min, is so she gets too many beat balls and then he like he's worried that his is bad because it's not a beat ball, but then she's like, oh my god. It's a beat ball rat. Beat ball. <laughs> yeah, beat ball. Doug takes place in kind of like a parallel universe <laughs> where like sports are, everything's a little different in Doug. Like they don't have McDonald's, but they have a honker burger. They have beat ball. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Check out me and Grogu's YouTube show. Uh, <laughs> the Pringles Gamer. We dealt with that. <laughs> to Doug for some reason? <laughs> yeah. All right. All of her friends have come to celebrate the 99th birthday in fungus years of the heir to the throne of the Mushroom Kingdom. Toad, the royal mushroom retainer, has decorated the great hall of the royal palace with glittery ribbons and plastic palm trees. Wooster, the chief mushroom assistant, I guess from the cartoon? Wooster? That, Wooster? That sounds vaguely yeah. familiar. There was a period where they tr they used to try to name the toads. Now, of course, we know that every toad is, toad. is named Toad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but we know that there is one toad. We so they were trying tell. to coop at the toads. Yeah. Now you've just got Toad and you've got Toadette. And that's that's it. It's just like a, a, a yeah. And Captain binary. Toad. And Captain Toad. Right. But and notice they're all worth. named Toad. Yeah. Toad's, Toadsworth. Remember him? Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, Wooster, the chief mushroom assistant, has made sure the palace floors are more spotless than ever and has baked a huge chocolate cake. Ooh, all whoa. the great fungus nobles have descended from their mountain bungalows to join in the festival. Oh my God. <laughs> Hell yeah. Is this going to be a red wedding? What's happening I guess here? so, yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's chain mail under your shirt, Toads, Toadsworth. <laughs> You're playing the 8-bit MIDI version of Rage of the coming. Yeah. Koopa uh, sends his regards. And of course, uh, Princess Toadstool would never throw a party without inviting her two dear friends, those fearless defenders.
defenders of the Mushroom Kingdom, the Mario Bros. Mm. Gee, Big Brother whispers Luigi, wiping a glob of chocolate frosting from his bushy black mustache. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got something on your mustache. Let me get that off for you. No, he's wiping it from his own mustache. No, I'm doing it for him. I'm self-inserting. Oh, okay. Caldwell's in there? Yeah. All right. What did you get her, Mario asks. Some shoes, answers Caldwell. Me too, says Mario. So far, Princess Toadstool's uh, 99th birthday party has gone off without a hitch. That's why Mario and Luigi aren't able to enjoy themselves completely. I have a question, Adam. Is this surprising to you to find out that she's 99 years old? In fungus years. In fungus years. (laughs) And okay, so what are fungus years? I mean, it's always been unclear, especially at this point, if Princess Toadstool is a person or a mushroom. If fungus years work like dog years, right? Yeah. The way dog years work is your dog is like 10 years old, right? right? My dog is actually 70 because they're going to die soon. Right. Even though Princess Toadstool stool looks like a you know a 25 28 year old woman uh-huh. actually she's 99 <laughs> years old yeah okay. we're, we're all trying to find the shoe she's going to be buried in <laughs> all right uh in the history of the mushroom kingdom no one has ever thrown a party that the evil koopa clan hasn't tried to wreck uh, oh. keep on your toes mario whispers to the younger skinnier plumber those terrorist <laughs> turtles are bound to crash sooner or later oh. whoa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys <laughs> okay just this was many years before many, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. Before. Terrorists were just kind of fun at the yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> Keep off my toes, snaps Luigi. You're stepping on my foot. He pushes his brother to one side. Both plumbers are ready for action. Mario has brought his lucky penny along with him. His lucky penny? Is okay. that a thing? They're just, no. no. <laughs> okay, so we have like, to add their own penny? little stuff. We have Maybe. our waiting boots. We have our lucky penny. I'm keeping an inventory in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember we, we've watched for different 8-Bit book clubs and stuff. Uh, we watched the uh, Mario show, the Super Mario. Mario's brother super show. Mario says pasta power and stuff like <laughs> yeah. that. So I yeah. think that's just one of those yeah. things. Just like Mario, I guess, has a lucky penny. Okay. I bet. I mean, if I was writing like an auxiliary uh, product for like Super Nintendo for like the Mario Brothers, I would be hoping that Shigeru was going to like read that and be like pasta power. Genius. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, his lucky, he's got his lucky penny along with him and is armed with his strongest plunger. Loves being a plumber. <laughs> See, this yeah. is again, plunger never used by Mario, yeah. but they just feel they need to put they it in. Have yeah. Luigi has also brought a plunger, some waterproof matches, and a monkey wrench. Again, yeah. smart. Waterproof yeah. matches? That's kind of cool. Is yeah. that a real thing in real life? Uh huh. <laughs> Just then, several mushroom servants make their way through the crowded hall. One is handing out small bags of shiny coins, another is carrying trays of balloons, noisemakers, fishing nets, and other party favors. Grab one of those toys, Luigi advises, as he pockets a small bag of coins. <laughs> that was uh, my wallet. We might have to catch a Koopa or make some noise. Solve the puzzle on the next page to find out which party favor Mario grabs. Choose one of the three wrapping paper patterns. Circle all of the numbered boxes that are decorated with that pattern. God damn it. Here we go. Then arrange the boxes in numerical order. <laughs> oh my yes. God. Yeah. Okay, oh. so. Do a New York Times cryptic crossword puzzle. <laughs> oh, wow. It's pristine. It has not been solved. Uh, do, do uh, directions solve are on the previous page. Oh my God. We might need a pencil. I'll okay. grab one for you. You're just choosing one thing. Okay. So the patterns are stripe, star, polka dot. Okay. I'm going to select stripes. Okay, while we do the puzzle, uh, we'll do a sidebar. Uh, just gabbing about Mario. <laughs> Who's your favorite Mario character? Caldwell? Toadette. <laughs> All right, that adds up. That's good. Uh, Princess Toadstool is in uh, this book, but what would uh, she be? Uh, go on to be known as or what was she originally known as in Japan and then in later iterations of the American releases of Mario games Peach All right. Wow. All right. Where's the, where, where was the first time she was referred to that by, by that name in the United States Windsor <laughs> Mario 64? <laughs> Mario 64, correct. She writes a letter to Mario to open the game. Yep. And she says, Peach. You know, yeah, she goes, uh, Princess Toadstool, Peach. Yeah. And I remember at the time going, who the fuck is Peach? Yeah, yeah, it was confusing. This is her name? And also the internet was, I don't know, it, it was way harder to search back then. So you didn't have an answer for that. She just said Peach at the end and you just had to live with that. Yeah. It, oh, <laughs> that's her name. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I'll <laughs> admit I was a Sega kid. I had, well, oh I had, God. obviously I had the original Nintendo <laughs> and then I had Sega and then the, I, I feel like it was like kind of the first time retro gaming became a thing is like kids suddenly started to like, like old Super Nintendo games games during like the PlayStation slash like mm-hmm. N64 era. So I went back, I like bought a Super Nintendo off my friend for like 20 bucks. Okay, M, do you have a solve for the puzzle? The first five letters are noise. Okay, it's a noise oh. maker. 
Okay, so we've got a noisemaker. <laughs> We're going to call it. We're assuming it's we a assume, noisemaker. We assume. Mm -hmm. uh, Mario Bros. collect 10 coins. Turn to page 50. Yes. Uh, I'm writing it down on a notes app. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hey, look at this, Princess Toadstool cries from among the tremendous heaps of ribbons, cards, envelopes, and wrapping paper. She holds up a pair of bright red basketball sneakers. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we haven't <gasps> even gotten into the thing. Yes. <laughs> wow, we haven't gotten anywhere. I fully forgot. I got so distracted by the puzzle that I forgot that the princess is going to ball. She's so <laughs> normcore. She's got some sweet Nikes. <laughs> She's holding a big Starbucks. And <laughs> okay, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, but essentially no one will admit to the fact that they got her the magic basketball sneakers. Uh -oh. so, but does she like them? Yeah, yeah. okay. So then um, uh, Yippee, she yells, lacing up the high top sneakers. I can't wait to wear these to the Royal Gymnasium. Anyone for a game of pickup? Classic Peach. I'm 99 years yeah, I'm 99 old. Years okay. old. My bones are made of mycelium. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now I remember the king's Our commune with the fungus, <laughs> with the fungus hive mind. We are one. They okay. are not my subjects. They are my siblings. All right, everyone stop joking around. Okay. <laughs> I reproduce by spore propagation. <laughs> Too far. She's hot. Okay. So uh, the princess thinks that her dad got it for her, uh, the okay. king, um, but he, uh, he goes, oh, wait, I forgot. Now I remember. Here's the birthday present I got for you. He reaches behind the throne and pulls out two orange basketballs. Sorry, I forgot to wrap them, he says. This is, this is like one of the prime sins committed by Extended Universe Mario stuff is they always need to postulate a King Toadstool. Yeah. yeah. There's really? no King Toadstool. Really? Wait, isn't there a King Toadstool in Mario 3? No, those are the kings those of the, the individual uh. Mario, you know, like World 1, World 2. <laughs> Princess Toadstool is the ruler of the entire Mushroom Kingdom. Right. It's a matriarchy. Fuck that. And we have True. seen this in the different adventure books. For some reason, there's a king and he's just like very forgetful. He just forgets <laughs> stuff. That's yeah. kind of his characterization. Yeah. All right. Uh, so wait, okay. Uh, just then, strange eerie music begins to drift into the hall. It's very soft <laughs> first, then it grows louder and louder as if it's getting nearer. Princess Toadstool starts to dance. I feel like these cursed shoes are, we're mixed, well, this is a hat on a hat. What's happening, she says, looking a little alarmed. As the music grows even louder, the princess begins to this jog really in place. This really circle shift. Then she starts jumping up and down. Finally, she picks up one of the king's basketballs and begins to dribble around the great marble hall. She looks grandma. This is the most insane thing. Okay, so she's dribbling and leaping high into the air, totally out of control. Arg! She's scuffing up the marble floors. Wooster moans. If, <laughs> fuck up, Wooster! If I Wooster, you fucking nerd. <laughs> she's she's in pain. <laughs> if I ever say, help me, I can't stop dunking. Disregard. We're uh, gonna tour you around the country yeah. and exactly. sell tickets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, she's dribbling away, shouts Toad. So she's um, dribbling away. We have to solve the puzzle for a clue what the plumbers c should do next. Look at the two groups. Okay, so there's a puzzle. God damn it. Solve the puzzle for a clue. The puzzle what the, mistress is the ready. The plumber should do next. Look at the two groups of basketballs below. Which group is exactly the same as the top group? Under the correct choice, you'll find some advice about what the plumber should do next. Draw the charge. We might want to risk a foul here. Okay. Maybe we tie the shoelaces together. Yeah. All right. Let's push her down. I think I see a difference. <laughs> this one's just an eyeballer. Um, run after the princess. Okay, uh, let's so do it. It's either run to the shoe vault or or run after the princess, run, run after, after the, the princess. princess. You need to solve a puzzle to know that when your friend is in distress, you <laughs> We've read some of these game books. There was one where we should have left our friend behind to die yeah. because it yeah. turns out that they can just save themselves. Who can um, know? Who can know the mind of a game? Okay. Game book is trying to teach you conflicting morality. Enjoy the world it. is a gray. <laughs> okay, if, pl if the plumber should follow Princess Toadstool, uh, turn to page 86. Okay. The princess dunking, Slam that dunking feels princess like we're Peach. running out of ideas. That's yeah. Uh, we're at the bottom of the barrel here. We gotta make 14 more of these things. Uh, Mario and Luigi charge out the window after the princess. They tumble into a border of pricker bushes a few feet below. Ow, ouch, ow, crumbles Luigi. God, perfect characterization. <laughs> Luigi, is... save me, I fell too. Ow, ow, it's me, Caldwell. <laughs> Uh, Caldwell, you don't, you don't have to help. You know, you can stay inside the party. You're leaving me to die? It's pretty, no, you, it's just a pricker bush, man. You're fine. <laughs> Mention me on the next page. You, you, <laughs> all 
All right, so she's starting to run towards the desert. Uh, the plumbers race after her past the odd floating boxes and metal cubes. We get it there in Mario. Uh, she is dribbled even further ahead of them. Maybe we should check out the shoe vault, Luigi says. I don't want to get what? sand in my plumber's boots. If you think oh. the plumber should stop following the princess and head back to the palace, turn to page 65. If you think uh, they should keep chasing, turn to page 13. I so, think we keep chasing. Oh, God. We I'm so we've been heroes, fucked by these books. The kind of heroic friend who exactly as Adam yeah, says, sees someone yeah. in distress and runs to the aid. But sand in the plumber's boots. Ooh, is yeah. It does sound bad. Annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, the last puzzle... I mean, this is bad game design. Her. It is bad game design if now we have to go back. It told us to follow her, did it not? Or it did, did, we, or, it did, did we already this do is, that? We did already we? did that, so we're on to a new thing. And oh. we, we found... We, we basically just... There's some... Goof, goof them ups about them falling out of the uh, out the window. Is this a moment though, like where the book is asking you, how much do you trust your puzzling ability? Mm. No, mm. I think it's just bad game design. I think it's also it's Luigi suggesting this, and Luigi is a renowned coward. So yeah, I think Lu that, Luigi, uh, Luigi's like, I don't fucking care about the princess. That's your girlfriend. Yeah. I don't <laughs> care. Is that his love interest? Mario and Luigi. It's like a. It's, no, it's like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, Mario's yes, Mario and the princess are like it's a it's a will they won't they. You yeah, know? Okay, cool. Just yeah. picturing Nintendo releasing an official statement being like, Yep, it's incest. Yeah. Um we're moving on. Uh okay. we're going to chase. Uh make a fast break, Luigi Mario cries. We're losing her. Plumbers resume their mad dash after Princess Toadstool past the end of the brick road over a hill through a field of snapping piranha plants and onto the hot, dry, sandy plains of the Kupahari Desert. Uh, okay. I think we're catching up. This is... Is this a location? I, I, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> just destroying uh, lore. Just... Where parts of the Mario, of the Mushroom Kingdom are named after Earth locations. Yeah. Like, well, no. Well, I mean, could you, <laughs> no. could, you, could you argue that, like, the Mushroom Kingdom is like a reflection of our world? World. They're like overlapping planes of existence, and that's no, why they are its own Dude, place. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just, sorry. It's, it's just lazy writing. It's like this person has no who 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 wrote this? Clive. Clive Bosco has no affinity for the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't understand. Dude, the, careful what you say about Clyde. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he Clive was, or Clyde? I mean, when, Clive. when did this book? What when, when was this published? I'm what? guessing like 1993. I, I would almost think earlier. You think so? I, well, I think there was, he had he had very little to work with at the time. You know? Yeah, I think this is probably going off Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord, 1991. 1991. Wow. 1991. That's yeah. pretty early. Wow. So Mario Three, I believe, came out in 1990. We're very, very early. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and so he doesn't have, you know, a ton to work with in terms of stuff being built out. Yeah, and yeah. And so they're just filling it in with generic swings. nonsense. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. okay. So tweeter birds jump down, a, f a swoop down from the air and start uh, grabbing at our heads. Batten down the hatches. Uh, tweeter says, birds? That's what it says, tweeters. <laughs> they look like that from Mario 3. Those are from Mario 2, I yeah. believe. Yeah, the swoop. But they don't, no, they don't. Swoop, don't they, they bounce? Swoop? Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't they they're wearing masks. Yeah, they're, they're wearing masks. They're like shy, shy guy style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. All right, batten down the hatches, says Mario. Let's try to uh, get through this without too many scratches. Carefully, the plumbers make their way into the field of bouncing, twittering, flightless birds. Whoa. Oh, oh, God. God. Adam's correct. The Mario Adam, genius. I almost called you Mario. <laughs> Greatest <laughs> compliment what anyone's an ever given you. Uh, choose any four tweeter birds. Circle them. Then use a ruler. What? <laughs> <laughs> we can do it straight enough. It's fine and draw a straight line out from every toe on each of those tw tweeters' feet. <laughs> Pass it to the pet. The line, <laughs> the line should continue until they reach the end of the page. <laughs> I need a ruler. Can you imagine? Oh how, my god! Can you imagine how devastated you'd be as like a six-year-old being like, "Mom and Dad, do we have a ruler? <laughs> I'm trying to draw a line between tweeter birds, Mom. <laughs> get out your get out your protractor and draw a perfect circle with using Mario's mustache." as the center point yeah uh, and uh, every intersecting uh, m's using a different game book as wow the ruler. this is like advanced geometry you're having to like find the intersecting points we have here? to find out if it touches mario and luigi okay. i believe oh. if any of the lines and i just got a foot that touches uh that touches <laughs> luigi <laughs> okay so he's dead so it's he has page died. 65 <laughs> page 65 okay yeah um if Does any of the I lines touch him? Mario and Luigi, turn to page 65. <gasps> puzzle mistress, you've okay. killed Luigi. You killed oh Luigi. Okay. Why puzzle mistress? <laughs> <laughs> Scrooge! A buffalo-sized 
Tweeter comes crashing down on Mario's head. <laughs> Stars dance in front of the unlucky plumber's eyes. He reels dizzily and faints. <laughs> nice. Too much blood loss. A while later, he wakes to find himself slung over his brother's shoulder as they travel up the dark pipe to their Brooklyn plumbing it's shop. Dark he came up. Pipe. What? Mario's what? too sore to move. Luigi what? looks battered and bruised and in a very bad mood. I don't want to talk about it, Grandpa <laughs> Luigi, when the older plumber asks about what happened. But don't worry. I'm going to get you home and nurse you back to hell. Is this what it says in the book? Blood loss was the only thing I added. <laughs> Everything else is from the book. I'm sorry, but just the idea that, okay, so the idea that they are plumbers in Brooklyn who are transported to the Mushroom Kingdom in Mario. Through, through a dark pipe. Through a dark pipe. Uh -huh. In Mario canon, it's often that way, but not always. Right. Sometimes okay. they okay. just live there. Sometimes they started in Brooklyn and they're transported. In the new Mario movie, they start in Brooklyn and they're yeah. transported. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But the idea that they just at will go through a pipe back to Brooklyn, I have never heard before. And they before. commute via it, dark pipes. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to go like hit up like Union Pool or like we could go to, you know, All right. we, could, we could go to the Barclays Center and catch a Nets game like in between fights with Bowser. Like, when are our sleep no more tickets? <laughs> I just want to make sure that I let Peach know. Oh, Mario groans, but he doesn't argue. So he's just willingly going to be nursed back to health. Being nursed back to health by Luigi is sure to involve a lot of foul tasting medicine. <laughs> Not to mention the world's worst recipe for chicken soup. Game over. Wait, yeah. so in this, in this universe that we just created, yeah. Princess Peach is eternally balling? Yeah, yeah. forever. <laughs> so I think this is a classic bad game design of the Nintendo game books, which is, I think, think we were supposed to go back, go back. to the shoe or thing. Or did we choice no, I with think the tweeter birds? M, M was right I on think, the tweeter bird thing. I think, I think though the... it was choosing four random birds and I think, oh. that I, I think I didn't realize that I was supposed to try and choose ones that I thought wouldn't. Oh. Oh. So I thought Puzzle that, like, master fucked us. Okay, can we just like go? Just can we just assume get... that Emily did a better job? And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's just assume that I All chose right, if one. None of the lines touch either plumber. Turn to page one fifteen. I thought okay. it was supposed to be like a random thing. Mm. Hey, we're all yeah. we're moving fast. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. let's not question the puzzle mistress, everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, everyone fucking relax. <laughs> all right, to have. all right. Um, page one fifteen. All right, <laughs> whoosh! Three birds go sailing past Mario's ear. Luckily, none of them makes contact. Look out, little brother, he warns Luigi as a huge tweeter rockets towards him. Luigi ducks. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> just start calling all birds tweeters. I, I think it really is a good phrase. Yeah. And instead of saying flying, you say the tweeters are rocketing around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez, these tweeters fucking crapped on my car. <laughs> tweeters bouncing? Yeah, watch out for the straight cats. They might rocket at a tweeter. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Are you Canadian and citing deep Mario lore that has since been retconned? <laughs> so this, char this character is a stereotypical Canadian. All right. Um, okay, so after a few miserable minutes of crawling, dodging, and dashing, Mario and Luigi are finally in the clear. The princess, however, has disappeared completely. The music seems to have stopped, too. Ragged mm. circles in the sand lead off into the distance, but there is no sign of movement on the horizon. Hmm says Mario, scratching his chin and studying the trails in the sand. These could be dribble marks. <laughs> dribble yeah. mark again. She's dribbling yeah. in the sand. She's That's dribbling. It just sounds like so <laughs> different, like... A different, different verb. Yeah. yeah. Or a substance. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she's just sopping. <laughs> she's so excited about all of her new oh. shoes. Okay, well, here, here we go. We've got a mystery. Yeah, Luigi answers. Or they might be giant turtle footprints. Ooh. Mm, okay, what? so oh. what are the prints? Are they dribbles? Or are they turtle footprints? Or are they turtles dribbles? Are they turtle are they sexually turtle aroused too? Giant turtle foot. Are they are, are they turtle oils? Do turtles have a perfectly round foot? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they're dragging a whole butt. They're dragging their belly. <laughs> they can lift up. Well, uh, I guess turtles are strong. A turtle course. or a Koopa? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, they can slide. Come on now. <laughs> Remember the last time we tussled with those horrible Hammer Brothers? <laughs> those terrorists. We lost one of our best 
bilge pumps. They're really going in on the plumbing the plumber stuff. Shit. What six year old wants this? I love how who <laughs> wants this. I love this for the boat. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Sure. Oh. I don't see. This is even the author of this doesn't know what he's just writing. Like, what is a Unless pump? Unless yeah. plumbers probably get a lot of work with the septic tanks of houseboats. <sighs> All right. Just then, Luigi's quick eyes detect. Uh, something moving among a cluster of yellow rocks about 50 yards to the left. <gasps> Shall we investigate, Big Brother, he asks. I don't know, says Mario. If we don't find the princess soon, she might be out of bounds for good. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Die. Luigi's like, should we investigate some rocks? It's like, it's yeah. a, it's, we don't need to be doing yeah. this. <laughs> I, like, I got sand in my shoes. There's some stuff in some rocks. I would rather be doing anything else. Right. Right. <laughs> when you play the games, because when we do these adventure books, they do use Luigi as a coward to hold yeah. Mario back. Uh -huh. Is that true when you play the game too? He's, yeah. You got it, yeah. We're it's... often trying to to rescue Luigi or find Luigi. You know, Luigi <laughs> is a he is a coward. The characterization is real. Luigi's mansion, is he's he always scared of ghosts. Younger you know. brother? Uh, I yeah, believe, yeah, I so. yes, I okay. believe he's the younger brother. Okay, that's cute. But, yeah. but it is true that, you know, Mario has almost no character whatsoever. He's a complete cipher. He's blank. Yeah. Luigi is frightened, and that's the yeah. only right. thing we know about him. Yeah. So. But you can't ever truly be brave unless you are frightened, so Luigi's arguably the braver Mario. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Okay, solve this puzzle for a clue about who or what is hiding among the rocks. Fill in all the shapes containing the numbers divisible by three. <laughs> Mario's like, we Hell don't yeah. have time for the puzzle. Yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> Well, luckily, okay, so this one... Mario, list prime numbers quickly. Uh, this one has been filled out. It's this one uh, they've got, and and I've checked it. They're divisible by three. Okay, right. and the puzzle goer before us, Troy, age nine, is very smart. Yeah. So. yeah. No, they yeah. got it. They got it for sure. It's, a crown. It. it's a crown. If you think the plumber should follow the trail through the Kupahari Desert, turn to page 68. If you think they should check out the group of rocks <laughs> turn to page 79 so we want to keep following the princess because we got a crown right? yes technically it says solve the puzzle for a clue about who or what is hiding among the rocks oh okay oh, the that suggests there's that crown among the rocks. rocks oh let's go to the rocks okay okay maybe we're gonna maybe go you're... play with some rocks <laughs> i wonder if this was just confusing wording i've i feel like i don't trust these or maybe we're books. going to get an injury on the crown of our head oh that makes oh. sense mm. yeah that actually really adds up yeah see the princess herself is hiding in the rocks that's yeah. what I'm wondering. That's oh. the wording. So we have to take this book on its word. Yeah. We're trusting you, Clyde. We've never been burned by an event. <laughs> yeah, no. never ever. Okay, all right. So we're, uh, we think the crown, a crown is rocks. there or the princess is there. We're going to the rocks. We're going to the rocks. Page 79. The plumbers decide to check out the rocks before following the tracks in the sand. Even before they reach the cluster of large yellow stones, they know who the a mysterious figure is. Leaning against a rock, gasping for air, tired, confused, bedraggled is Princess Toadstool. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Clyde. I'm sorry for bringing some of our game book baggage against yeah. you, because this is actually, all right, this is buttoned <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, Sinister Music has stopped playing for now. This is turning out to be the worst birthday party ever, she wails as soon as Mario and Luigi reach her. That's fair. It is probably her last one. <laughs> okay, um, I've tried and tried, but these horrible sneakers won't come off. The princess wails. She turns to Mario. Did you find my boots, she asks. Mm. Boots, the older plumber replies. You want another pair of shoes? Uh, he's beginning. <laughs> She's a girl. She loves shoes. Wow. My special magical boots, explains the princess. They belonged to my great grandmother. She used their powerful magic to help the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> she died when she was 101. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Um, that was back in the old wild days when there were monsters even worse than the Koopas. Now I keep. What? Oh, oh, there's like deep lore here. What do you deep mean worse than the monsters Koopas? Monsters worse than the Koopas. Sorry. This Whoa, is. Oh, Mario prequel? We don't get that deep. Now I keep the boots in a glass shoe box in a vault deep below the palace. Were we supposed to find the boots? <laughs> okay. Okay, and you think these boots will help you out of this mess? I don't know, Princess Toadstool sniffles. I've always thought I would need them someday, and now that her words trail off and she begins to sob loudly. <laughs> God. Gee whiz, oh. princess, don't cry. We'll get your boots for you. Just tell us what they look like. Drying her eyes, the princess looks up and opens her mouth. Suddenly, the music begins to play again. Before the princess can say another word, the spell seizes her. She grabs her basketball and begins to dribble out into the <laughs> desert. No. All right. Honestly, it's an amazing image to picture really a princess <laughs> dribbling into the expanse of the desert. Yeah. Just I, every time she dribbles the ball, it just stops dead in the sand. It doesn't bounce at all. This is some David Lynch shit. I love it. Saw this puzzle for a clue that will help Mario find the princess's boot. There are 10 different shoes hidden in the word search. They go up, down, across, backwards, and diagonally circle them. The leftover letters will spell out a place where you might uh, find the queen's old boots. Okay, so this person did some of them. We have the word sandal, ski, flat. They didn't get flat, but flat is a type of shoe. Yeah. Loafer, 
wedgie? A wedge. wedge. But it, it's W E D G I E. Maybe it's, it's an Australian switch. shoe. Oh, oh. slipper. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Wingtip. Okay, and then uh, I think it's the letters that are left over it's is A R O D E A. A rod. Rodeo. A rodeo. A rodeo. A rodeo. A rodeo. Oh, because okay. it's a rodeo. boot. Great. Uh, turn to page forty-four. Okay. <laughs> cool. So we solved the puzzle. For so we solved the puzzle. I think rodeo will come into play. Okay. Mario and Luigi race after Princess Toadstool. Each time the basketball bounces against the sandy ground, it kicks up a small cloud of yellowish dust. <laughs> the right. sound of a basketball bouncing on sand could be really nice, Psst. right? Oh. Psst. Psst. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Luigi's moving too fast to stop. They're chasing her. Uh, so he jumps right over the hole. This is the cold open. Ah, uh, he wails. He tumbles down into the darkness for a few seconds Everyone's and lands. Everyone's wailing in this Everyone books. fucking wails. He uh, And lands on his knees in a mound of soft, moist sand. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that'd be great for building a sandcastle. This is where everyone's pissing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty smooth landing because of all the piss, he says. And he's brushing himself off. Then Mario comes crashing down on top of him. Watch where you're plunging, shouts Luigi, angrily picking himself up off <laughs> See, the He's just like, ground. sometimes it's they like, toss yeah. in a plumbing word. <laughs> I just think we're not reminding kids enough that these plumbers mostly deal with shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, says Mario. Do you think I liked landing on you? You're lumpier than Bowser Koopa's head. They have like a not a good dynamic. <laughs> so it literally says here, after standing in total darkness for a few minutes, arguing about whose fault everything is, they finally decide it's all Bowser Koopa's fault. With that settled, Luigi takes his pack of waterproof masks Matches from his overalls pocket. Hey. Hey. I'm there sorry, Clive is out of pocket. <laughs> Calling him Bowser Koopa. That <laughs> yeah. has never been his they're, name. Th yeah, yeah they're, I think they're trying to uh, make the transition to Bowser. Yeah. I, I listened to, yes, is? That is, that's true. In Japan, he was Bowser the whole time. Yeah. In the US, the early translations were King Koopa. Right. Or calling really? him Koopa. And then around this time, Nintendo starts being like, no, he's Bowser. That's his name. Right. And this, he's Bowser, king of the Koopas. It sort of became King Koopa is his title. Yeah. His name uh, is Bowser. Oh, so it's like how like you're like the Duke of Windsor or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Charles exactly. the Duke of Windsor. <laughs> yes. Bowser Earl King of, of the Sandwich. Koopas. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Makes uh, sense. Okay. Well, I knew a kid who thought that he tried to convince me. I don't know if you remember in Mario 3, when you're fighting Bowser, you can fly over the edge of Bowser's battle arena and there'll be another Bowser. Like what? sort of like when you go to a warp zone, mm -hmm. like you go outside the bounds of the stage, there's another Bowser and a uh -huh. kid tried to convince me that one of them was King Koopa and one of them was Bowser. And I was oh, like, you're shit. fucking stupid. So, what, <laughs> so do you think what that- was your explanation though? I don't know why there was a second <laughs> Bowser, but they were both Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so they're trying to figure out where to go. Uh, the two plumbers are now standing in a deep sandy crater there's three different tunnel openings there's no sign of the princess the madly bouncing uh basketball or the eerie mysterious music uh where to next your guess is as good as mine i'll flip my lucky penny there's two oh. sides let's try this way then luigi says as he strikes a second flickering match the two plumbers trudge off into the dim sandy tunnel i'll flip tunnel. my lucky penny but it only has two sides because there's three tunnels right so oh. for some reason we're okay. using them uh, so just the weirdest thing in the world is to point out that 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 point out. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry okay so sorry I'll this is from the upside world where i i'm a plumber <laughs> <laughs> and their coins aren't i think it, uh, like so yours. i guess my headcanon here is that mario this is literally the one penny the only possession he has from yeah. brooklyn although again oh, it's established okay. they yeah, can go can back whatever go back. they want yeah you just go back if he gets really hurt this was the first penny he ever made it's kind of a scrooge mcduck thing yeah oh. he Fished it out of a piece of shit yeah. in a toilet. <laughs> okay. Um, you'll need a penny. Start in the center space and follow any of the three arrows. Whenever you reach a circle, use the pennies to check if the circle is exactly the same size as the coin. What the fuck? <laughs> An actual goddamn penny? I have to search well, my mom pays for a us penny. Pennies, mom, do you so. have a penny? <laughs> We're just going to have to eyeball this and yeah. see if we think it's a penny size because I don't want to look for a penny. No one has pennies anymore. Yeah. Not a single person listening to this podcast I, has a penny within 100 feet of them. I think if I looked, I bet I would have a penny. Okay. Do you guys want me to yeah, find a penny? Find, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I see yeah. them on the street, they look lonely. Okay. All right. So we might have a penny here. Whenever you reach a circle, use a penny to check if the circle is exactly the same size as the coin. If it is, follow the arrow next to yes. If the circle is not the same size as your coin, follow the no arrow. When you reach the box at the end of your trail, match the symbol on the box with the one 
with one of the symbols at the bottom of the page. God, will tell you where to turn. Clyde was I on just, one. I just one. love that. Mario's like, I got a lucky penny. I can flip it. You, <laughs> and then it's like, okay, get your penny, but you're not going to be flipping it. Okay, yeah. So, okay, so there's a picture of, this is really some Mario 3 shit. There's a picture of a flower, picture of a star, and a picture of a mushroom, and we can end up at any one based on our penny stuff. M's got a penny. It's like the worst Ouija board ever. Okay, so we start, oh God, which, which way do we want to go? All right, so let's go um, one, two, or three. You guys have a preference? Three. Okay, so we're gonna go the three. biggest number. Wow, okay. So we're going to three. Yes or no? Okay, that is absolutely uh, the same size as the penny. I don't know. That looked a little big to me for a penny. Um, okay, so that yes. That one's smaller than the penny. Yeah, okay, that one's smaller than a penny, so no. Down here, that is smaller than a penny also, so that's no. That is same size. same size, so that is yes. That gets us to a star. Cool. Oh, all right. All right. this <laughs> seems so complicated until we got the penny. Yeah, once we got yeah. the penny, everything really. Once we listened to the instructions instead of trying to blow past. When was this made? Uh, 1990. Whoa. Whoa. This okay, penny hadn't even been made when this book came wow. out. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Really makes that's you a think. thirty-year-old. Uh, we've reached the star man. We're gonna turn to page fifty-eight. Mario and Luigi walk along for some time. Gradually, their eyes get used to the dark, which is a good thing because Luigi's running out of waterproof matches. Fuck, what if we have a really stinky Whoa. shit? All right. Yeah. Um, then they hear the music. What if we need to light a fire? Yeah. Uh, okay. They start to hear the music. Their surroundings, however, have slowly been changing. I wasn't paying any attention, says Mario. When did it get light? And when did the walls get to be so round? In fact, the plumbers are now walking through a big long tube. Oh. Oh. They begin to pass more and more side uh, branches as they follow the music. The round corridor swerves to the right and then to the left. The plumbers walk through several chambers that have four or five openings leading away from them. Finally, they decide to rest in a small chamber, blah, 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 blah. Uh, by this time, the puzzled plumbers can no longer tell where the music is coming from. Wait a minute, says Mario. He taps one finger against the wall, causing a clear metallic twang. Then he points to a round steel-rimmed opening in the middle of the floor. We're in pipe world. And I know <laughs> where else we are, says I got, Luigi. I got it. Turn to Adam. Yeah. Pipe World ring a bell? Pipe okay, world. it actually does. Okay. There, <laughs> isn't that, isn't so that World refreshing. 7? It's World 7 of Mario 3 is <laughs> Pipe World, which is surprising because you think it's every world is Pipe World, right. but it, every surface in Pipe World is made of pipes. Uh -huh. is this, this is so, where all the pipes come from. Uh, pipe, yeah, I pipes guess are the born? genesis of pipes. This is, yeah. the, this is the nexus of all pipes. Okay. This is where like, pipes begin and end. If pipes yeah. are like an invasive vine, this is mm -hmm. where yeah. they uh -huh. were It's a jungle planted. of pipes. Okay. There's piranha pipes. Okay. Okay. So there were several uh, non-choices where it was just like, they're lost, turn to page nine. They're lost, turn to page seven. So I've uh, just kind of skipped ahead. Uh, at last, the plumbers turn a corner and enter a square chamber with three large pipes sticking out of the floor. The music becomes louder. Now we're getting somewhere, says Luigi. He starts to climb into the center pipe. Wait, cries Mario. Remember rule number one of the plumbing academy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look before you leak. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're leaking. Rule number we're one. Rule number one of the plumbing academy is don't just leak. drop trow and don't piss <laughs> anywhere. You have to look at where you're peeing. Could be why there was such a specific wet spot in the desert because oh. everyone is following. Yeah. yeah, and they're looking and they're all pissing. Look, plumber yeah. academies in the Mushroom Kingdom, so they're just yeah. peeing everywhere. They don't yeah. have the reverence for the toilet that we there's have. There's so yeah. much moisture in this book. There's <laughs> leaking. There's <laughs> wet <laughs> sand dribbling. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Princess and triplet. Okay, everybody. Um, I have an early theory, by the way. Okay, interesting. The noisemaker, which we don't know if we have a noisemaker. We just <laughs> solved the beginning of it and got noise, but the noisemaker could drown out the organ oh, music that's that right. is possessing. What her. do you right. think the music that's playing is? Is it like, it's an orchestra or it's, it's a it's organ? it's a waltz for sure. It's gotta it's be a waltz. Okay. Yeah, right, spooky everybody. waltz. Mm. Or it's the Space Jam soundtrack. Oh, it's the <laughs> yeah. Space Jam. I was Played wrong. on an organ. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Um, if Luigi has the basketball uh oh turn to page 108 definitely does not have the basketball mm -mm. all right we have to choose uh left center or right pipe <laughs> 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 that's definitely what that's what i wanted you to think <laughs> um uh, this one looks very promising, Mario says. Uh, he and Luigi drop into the right-hand pipe. They find themselves on a long metal catwalk. It leads them 
Uh, through an enormous cavern of pipes that twists about in every direction, the mysterious music grows louder. Look, Mario shouts, pointing to a cluster of pipes that hang above their heads. Instead of metal, many of the tubes are made of clear glass, and they're filled with coins. Whoa. Ooh. Wait, glass tubes? Yeah, glass tubes. This predates the one for the Super Wii U. Mar yeah. Super Mario 3D World is yeah. on. There's also thinking of that, where there's clear pipes that have coins in them, and you sort of go into them, and, and you go down like a little track, kind yeah. of. They stole it from Shit. Clyde. We were being yeah. hard on Clyde before, but like Clyde has been robbed. <laughs> well, he's pitched a lot of uh, lore, Here's and it spaghetti. seems like Adam caught it ahead of time when we were looking at the covers that the pipes look like pipe organs because yeah. as they look dun, at it, dun, dun, uh, dun, so dun. they that's the music. That's fine. Luigi uses his pipe wrench. <laughs> Help me pick these up. Luigi orders Mario. Ooh. Okay, he helps his brother gather the Whoa. coins that didn't fall. He notices something strange about several of the metal pipes that are overhead. The mysterious notes aren't coming through the pipes anymore. The pipes themselves are making the music. Different pipes are ringing with different tones. This is a giant pipe organ. And Mario declares, and all the pipes making the music are leading straight down. One of the largest musical pipes is only two feet from the catwalk. Follow me, cries Mario. He jumps from the catwalk, hugs the pipe, and slides down towards the floor of the cavern. Wait up, Luigi calls, jumping after him. So I'm, they're, they're I'm totally just... team Clyde, by the way. Like, the pipes turning into pipe organs... Pretty clever. Yeah. You know nice. what? This tweeter nice. is rocketing. This is, <laughs> this is <laughs> my tweeter is rocketing. My, all right, solve this puzzle to find out how many coins the plumbers collect. Start my at the catwalk. Is sky high. Ooh. <laughs> all right, um, start at the catwalk and follow the trail. When you reach a set of arrows, choose a direction. When you reach a star, you are done. Okay, it's been solved. Okay. Thanks, Troy. Uh, if they collect ten to fifty coins, turn to page twenty-eight. That's what ten I got. to fifty. Ten to fifty. That's what it says. Wow, what a less range. Than, there's less than ten. Um, more than fifty-one and ten to fifty. I just followed the uh, ones that was that was already there, and it was forty-two. Boy, it's a good thing this stuff was here to break our fall. What do they fall onto? They find um, Mario and Luigi slide down the cold metal pipe, rapidly gaining speed. Slow down, Luigi calls. I can't. Two it's plumbers, a bunch of flushed condoms. That uh, the two plumbers zoom down to the bottom of the pipe and crash into a giant mound of flushed condoms. Boy, it's a good thing this stuff was here to break our fall. The flushed condoms, says Mario. But really, you shouldn't be flushing condoms, says Luigi. Really That's plumber school be. rule number two. <laughs> <laughs> Look before you leak. Don't flush it. Yeah, condoms. throw them if out. You the in it. Don't flush it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to it's okay to flush a fresh condom. Okay, it looks no, like it's not. <laughs> okay, so I what? think it's the suction. I think it's the right. suction. This is like that. the educational part at the end of the Mario Brothers Super Show. <laughs> <laughs> hey kids, we had a lot of fun today, but remember, <laughs> don't flush your condoms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mario. I didn't know. Okay, so uh, <laughs> they actually fall in a giant amount of crumbled paper balls. <laughs> um, and somebody says, get out of here. I'm now picturing Luigi being like, <laughs> just like always jerking off into a condom. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, yes, this is this is where all of the mushroom kingdoms come tissues. And, uh, <laughs> Get out of here! A deep scratchy voice bellows. Oh out. yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> someone's someone's jerking it in there. Murph is so mad. He's trying to get to the end of the, this book so bad. Which which Koopa jerks off the most? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you you guys done? Yeah. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Murph is, Murph's mouth got so tiny and angry. <laughs> You're standing on my fourth symphony. Mario and Luigi look up and freeze oh. with terror. A few feet away, perched upon a high stool, is Ludwig von Koopa. Oh. <laughs> Ludwig looks awful. He's wearing a tuxedo jacket and a white bow tie splotched with orange juice stains. Sure. <laughs> Great. In front of him are what? several giant rows of Oregon keys. I don't know how you two got here, he growls, but you're interrupting my rehearsal. About 10 yards away, a large stage has been set up in the cavern. On one corner of it, a string quartet of four piranha plants are trying to scratch out a weak rendition of the organ tune that the plumbers have been following all day. Okay. A basketball court has been crudely <laughs> drawn in the center of the stage. Princess Toadstool is dancing helplessly underneath a basket. There's a lot going on. Going on here. Yeah. Well, he wanted to do a trilogy and they wouldn't let him. <laughs> we'll just take the ideas for a prequel. Like, look like Von Koopa is a classical music Koopa, obviously, yeah, this, but he's not a basketball up. Koopa. That adds up. No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they're like, how do we add 90s radness? Uh, I am excited to find out, though, like what her endlessly dunking, how it's benefiting them. Has she dunked yet? Uh, She's just breaking fundamentals, ankles. Fundamentals. <laughs> Your Highness calls Mario. Mario, the princess cries weakly. Quiet, snaps Ludwig. She's working for me now. I couldn't get anyone to play or listen to my music, not even my Koopa sister and brothers. So I've had to do a little recruiting to gather my performers. What? Oh, he's a kid. So he wants to play basketball and work on his music. He has sure. a lot of interest. He's got 
the he hobbies. He said to his sisters and brothers, would you play basketball while I play organ music? <laughs> yeah. And they said no. All right, well, it's going to add up. Ready? We will okay. now play for you my latest ballet, Dribbling Beauty, starring Princess Toadstool. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Ludwig, no. That really paid off. Oh, <laughs> that absolutely paid off. <laughs> My tweeter it's, is bouncing. Oh, it's in the stratosphere. <laughs> dribbling. Okay. Dribbling beauty. <laughs> all right, so they all start playing. The plumbers stand frozen with horror watching yeah. the performance. There's no denying it. Uh, <laughs> She's uh, dribbling. The ballet is terrible. Careful. What should we do, whispers Luigi? Solve this puzzle for a clue. Study the picture on the opposite page carefully. Circle all the balls that you think will land in the baskets. The letters on these basketballs spell out what the plumber should do next. While you do this, okay. can I just say, like, there's such a simple solve to make this make sense, which is their organ music is played at basketball games. Yeah, yeah. There are organ players. Ludwig could say, I always wanted to play the charge music for the yeah. Chicago Bulls, uh -huh. yeah. and I created a basketball arena so I could do that, so I could be the cool basketball organ player. But no, <laughs> instead he made a ballet about... I I actually don't hate a basketball ballet. <laughs> basketball ballet is really something. Em's, Em's on board, unfortunately. Like for the halftime, imagine it's just like a whole different set of basketball players come out and they're doing like a beautifully choreographed basketball yeah. dance. It's it, really. I nice. mean, that would be a great ballet. It would. Okay, <laughs> I am Space thinking Jam about the ballet. It. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Adam, if it helps, it's called Dribbling Beauty. <laughs> I think what actually happened here is that Nintendo really wanted that glass pipe idea, so they just like had to keep entertaining Clyde's other ideas. I see. Okay, a pipe um, of chips. So unfortunately, I solved the puzzle, and it is use the boots, and we absolutely don't have the boots. Yes. So it says yes. if the plumbers have yes. a box. Do we boots, have to go all the way back? No, no, no. And no. Get We're gonna out. ride this out. We're gonna ride this <laughs> okay. out. Okay. So there's uh, three options. If you think the plumbers should attack Ludwig von Koopa during a baby, if you think the if the plumbers have a box of boots and you think they should open them nah, down turn to page 120. If you think the plumber should wait and, and watch the rest of the performance. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, do we want to watch or do we want to attack? <laughs> Dribbling Beauty is going to get so wet and wild and I want to see it all. Okay. I want, I'm in the splash zone. Yeah, what do you guys think? It would be, I, if we just talked about how much we liked Dribbling Beauty, we <laughs> yeah. got to see it. Like the second we stop enjoying Dribbling Beauty, we attack. Yeah. yeah. The second we can't enjoy Dribbling Beauty, okay. is the second we lose our way as artists. Yeah, Absolutely. unfortunately that's not an option. Oh my God, it's not an instant game over we can actually just watch yes. the show yes okay ludwig plays a dozen more notes that are about as musical as a grocery store cart tumbling down a flight of stairs like is this a revelation that no he's, he's just like he's sort of a koopa avatar of, of beethoven, beethoven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay ludwig asks how the show was uh luigi and mario have some attitude and say that it's bad what uh and this then, is a child trying to learn yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah well that's not good enough uh, ludwig snarls with both hands he plays a droning chord on the great pipe organ. Instantly, two sandbags drop from the ceiling. They fall on Martin Luigi, knocking them unconscious. What? Oh, God. That's oh. concussion, dude. That's concussion. <laughs> Sometime later, the plumbers awake. What happened? Asked Mario groggily. They are now wearing size 13 ballet slippers and have frilly <gasps> tutus. A this is perverted. Yeah. <laughs> A strange force field keeps them from moving as they stand up stage from Princess Toadstool. Helplessly, she trots around the court twice. Then she stands and spins the basketball on her index finger. Uh, okay, Whoa, turn to page 55. This Imagine is... putting on a pair of sneakers and you can spin a basketball <laughs> on your finger. Okay, so um, Ludwig uh, von Koopa is going to keep them in the show for a nine year long tour. Wow, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah. Nine years, Mario and Luigi and Princess Toadstool all scream in horror at the plumbers have released the cowboy boots turn to page 77. There's so much <laughs> shoe stuff that we did. We really needed to... They told us not to originally. Size 13 right. ballet slipper. I could live in that. If I had to give Clyde <laughs> one note it would be to not give us a puzzle that says to not go to the shoe room <laughs> we needed to go to the shoe room and just collect a bunch of shoes yeah just yeah. go shopping all right turn to page 16 if you don't have the cowboy boots Whew. with a crunch ludwig cracks his uh -oh. scaly knuckles then he sits down in front of the organ five six seven eight he shouts and begins to play mario and luigi begin to hop and twirl along with the music how embarrassing uh mario grumbles <laughs> sure if the plumbers have the star man turn to page 84 we do we oh, have yeah. something oh, we do we got it because yeah. we got it in the maze, remember? If right. you remember it's the Mario cartoons, Mario Super Show, Mario Brothers 3, Mario World, yeah. almost every episode ended with them going like, star power! Oh, yeah. And like, destroying uh, all the Koopas. So 
This is this is this has got to be the moment. Uh, Mario grabs the Starman. Got it. He whispers immediately. His body changes with the energy and invincibility. With his newfound strength, yeah. he spins around twice in time with the music and leaps off the stage, breaking free of the evil melodies. I'm dribbling, holding. dribbling. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh oh. Says Ludwig as the plumber races towards him. Mario reaches the organ and knocks the turtle from his stool. Don't touch any of those controls. Ludwig screams. Hmm. Says Mario, spying the two knobs above the keyboard. I wonder what these things do. Solve the puzzle. So many puzzles. When Mario pulls the lever, the gears will start to turn. That will make the pointer move. Figure out which sign the pointer. This is a will missed point puzzle. To, yeah. And you'll stop Mario from making a big mistake. I think Mario should. All right, so we have to choose if Mario will uh, spin the knob left or right, or will pull the knob left or right. Uh, figure out which sign the finger will point to, and you'll stop Mario from making a big mistake. Okay. We've edited out some of our puzzle solving, but Adam figured it out that we should not pull the left knob. Well, Adam said the same thing. I, I Adam right? confirmed. Adam actually it, I, did it. I Adam said it with more it. confidence, so you believed me. No, it, was not, it wasn't that. It was Adam solved the puzzle, and Adam just picked a random one. <laughs> I eyeballed it. It wasn't random. It just wasn't. I think you got it intuitively. Committed. You just yeah. looked at it and yeah. the whole gestalt sort of came yeah. to you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just we, like my princess. You were dribbling. <laughs> okay, so we want to pull the knob on the right because we don't want to pull the left knob. Mm -hmm. Okay, so page 72. Mario reaches up and grabs uh, the knob on the right. Don't touch that, shrieks Ludwig. I guess that means I should, the plumber says. He chuckles and pulls the lever towards Got himself. Him. It slides out of its socket and comes loose in his hand. Suit yourself Ugh. then, the turtle composer says cheerfully. Immediately, a gigantic nozzle swings down from the high chamber ceiling and stops directly over the plumber's head. Squawking and howling, a horrendous horde of cheap cheeps and tweeter birds yeah. showers yeah. down on Mario. Turn to page 65. <laughs> uh, maybe birds. I was wrong. <laughs> maybe I solved it wrong. Scrooge. A giant, whoa, we got the tweeter ending again. What? what? Scrooge, oh. a buffalo-sized tweeter whoa. comes crashing down to Mario's oh, head. Oh, oh wow. I'm so we sorry. We get taken back and nursed. <laughs> We get nursed. Oh, We've been playing fate. for like an hour and a half. We just it got freaking tweeted again. Ends it always with comes Luigi's back. Luigi's shit chicken oh, soup. We're dead. Oh, I'm, and I was really not confident, was, but then I got yeah. confident once I guess you were confident. Literally, I just don't know how gears work, yeah. but I, I thought I did. We'll go back to the gears on the Patreon. That's what we'll do. It's not we'll surprising do. that two writers looked at a mechanical <laughs> picture yeah. and didn't understand how it works. We were not built for this. Um, no, we're or, no Troy. You know, who knows? Sometimes these game books also just like, like because you solved a puzzle wrong four puzzles ago or because we didn't have the cowboy boots really win this. I'm wondering just, if we should go all the way back and do a... Uh, I think we need to do that initial choice. Instead of following her, we go to the shoe. Okay. See what the, I want to see what the right answer is of the one we just did. First. Well, uh, we will continue reading the game book over on the Patreon. So check that out. Patreon.com slash nadpod. That's N-E-D-D-P-O-D. Don't sing yeah. yet. Adam will be joining us over there. Adam, thank you for joining us. Do you have anything you want to plug? Oh, my God. I mean, I do a podcast called Factually on uh, yeah. yeah. podcast and YouTube. YouTube channel. Go check me out there. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Uh, check out Adam. YouTube.com slash Pringles Gamer. Uh, now I'm going to create <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right on. Don't uh, you also stream video games sometimes? Sometimes on Twitch, not yeah. as much as I used to. Okay, okay. Put a lot of time into the into the old YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, we'll take another crack at this. Uh, you can follow us on social media uh, that we may or may not use at Seismers Me and call this Caldwell at Ashford's Emily, and you can tweet about the show using hashtag NadPod. That's N E D D P O D. They made a book about a video game. 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 We made a podcast about that.